What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Uh, here at the game store, we've been open for almost an hour now. Um, we got a pretty big trade in here. A lot of NES games, there's some 64 Genesis, Super Nintendo, and a boxed system as well. Uh, the people that traded this in, they drove down from Seattle, and this is their second time coming in. The first time, they also brought a bunch of stuff to trade, um, and they are, they are and are current and former Nintendo employees, which is pretty cool. Um, I believe it's a husband and wife, possibly boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, both of them used to work at Nintendo. One of them still does. So that is super cool. Um, they have some really, really cool stuff that I'm interested in buying, and I have let them know both times they've come in. I know for a fact they have it because they've told me. Josh is here. Hey, what's up? So hopefully they'll bring that stuff in at some point. Um, he said he still has it and he remembers, but let's take a look at what he brought in today. So all the games came with these little plastic cases, which I'll be giving to Josh because there's no room in here for them and he likes them. So well. first up, we have an original box uh, for Namco Museum 64. That's the only original box. Then we have, uh, these are just basically cartridge only. A couple of these have manuals, but not too many, like five or six. So we have Rush, Mario Tennis, 1080 Snowboarding, Diddy Kong Racing. There's the Namco Museum cartridge. Um, NFL Blitz 2000, those are all the N64 games. And we have Castlevania, Chuck Rock for Super Nintendo, McKids, Cobra Triangle, uh, this is Beauty and the Beast for Genesis, Chuck Rock for Genesis, Beauty and the Beast Roar the Beast for Genesis. We have Sonic 2 and Sonic 1, and then an original Tiny Cute Adventures, but no manual. And we have Madden 95, Super C, Pro Wrestling, Spy Hunter, Mario Kart, Pilot Wings, Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday, Star Fox, Street Fighter 2, uh, Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage, Bubsy, F-Zero, Joe and Mac, one of the better games, Lion King, Tecmo Super Bowl, Pac-Man, Adventure Island, 1942, 1943, Crazy Castle, Birthday Blowout, Bubble Bobble, that has a manual, DuckTales, that also has a manual, Dr. Mario, Adventures of Dino Riki, Yo Noid, and we have Wild Gunman, Wrecking Crew, Volleyball, Urban Champion, Track and Field, Track and Field 2, Turtles 2, Tiny Toon Adventures, Popeye, Slalom, Sky Kid with the Manual, Soccer, Pinball with the Manual, Gumshoe, Little Nemo Dream Master, Kid Icarus, Adventure of Link, Dig Dug 2, Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2, Commando, Mock Rider, Hogan's Alley, Ice Climber, Ice Hockey, Monopoly, Metroid, Mickey Mascapade, Millipede, and Mappy Land. And then, of course, we got the Genesis Model 1 complete in box. It has the plastic insert, which I've never seen on a system. Usually it's cardboard or styrofoam, but it's plastic. It's got the, the system, the controller, the cables, and the manual, but no baggies or anything. So I'm probably going to hold on to this one for my collection. Um, but the rest of these I do not need. This may be a condition upgrade for me, but I doubt it. It's got that crease on the front there. Um, so yeah, pretty good stuff. Uh, we also brought in some more of the anime VHS, people have been asking. And then someone dropped off this entire box of old Game Boy shells. Uh, the guy that dropped them off, he bought an original Game Boy yesterday, and he said he'd bring these in because he mods them. And so these are like old shells that he's taken off. Some of them are replacement ones, like obviously this is not an original color, but um, just cool stuff. Uh, gonna be very useful for us. I'm gonna give these all to Richard and just have him use them for parts and pieces. There are, however, a bunch of like battery covers that we'll keep here that we can definitely use. So pretty cool stuff so far today. So we've been pretty busy today, guys. This is the bundle I already showed you. We did get one more trade in here. We got a copy of Anthem for PS4. I just priced it because I'm gonna try to get this posted up right now and hopefully have someone buy it before the price drops, but uh, pretty cool stuff. A uh, couple just left. Uh, they came in with their two or three kids and they ended up buying a bunch of N64 games. This was full. You can see a bunch of gaps now. They took Mario Kart, Mario Party 2 and 3, an extra controller, Mario Kart for Super Nintendo, and I don't even know what else they bought, but lots of good stuff. I tried before that too. Yeah, we've been pretty busy today. So it is 
closing time, guys. <laughs> um, didn't get a chance to really film much today because we've been so busy. It was just Josh and I today. Abby's feeling a little bit sick, unfortunately. Um, so I'm bringing home some, some of these cup of noodles for her. Uh, we have some of these here at the store because we have a microwave in the back, but she's wanting some soup. That's not necessarily soup, but that's what she wants. So I'm taking those home. Um, so I figured I'd go through and show you guys the few trades that came in today. We didn't get too many that I haven't already shown, but um, there are a couple, and they're actually both pretty cool. Um, we also got some stuff back from Richard that he ended up uh, fixing for us, including a bunch of Nintendo 64 controllers that are now replaced with the GameCube sticks. You can see in there. And he... You know, he did one, and then he tested it out. He played Mario Kart 64 for a while, and he is, like, in love with the joystick on this new controller. So um, he said it works great. Um, he was playing better in the game, even. Um, so I'm really excited to have these available now. And he brought back a ton of them, as you can see. Um, so very, very cool stuff. And um, if you look for one of these controllers on eBay with the stick pre-installed, the cheapest one that I saw yesterday when I looked was 35 plus shipping. Um, so the sticks are not cheap. Um, I had to order them in such a high quantity just to get the price down to a point where I even felt comfortable buying them because the regular sticks that we buy to replace with, uh, if I buy them in bulk, I can get them for about five to six bucks each. Um, so these ones, if you try to buy just one of these joysticks, you're going to be spending between $12 and $15 just for one. So I had to buy them in a pretty big quantity. We got 40 of them. Um, it still was not cheap, though. So unfortunately, we do have to charge up for these controllers, but these controllers should last 10 times longer than the standard joystick on an N64 controller. So I definitely think it's worth the price. Um, and like I said, the cheapest ones on eBay were $35 plus shipping, and I was going to be putting these ones at $39.99. And that, of course, is, you know, with our return policy here at the store and everything. So I think that these are going to do very well. And I'm very excited to, to start carrying these because people have asked for these controllers before. Uh, people have asked us here in the store, do you have any N64 controllers with the GameCube sticks? And we never did until now. And now we have, you know, seven of them here already. So that's super awesome. And I can't wait to uh, post that those are available now, post them up on Facebook and Instagram, and hopefully start selling them. So... That is super cool, but let's take a look at the two trades that came in that I didn't get a chance to show you guys. So this is the first one here, and there's three games that I'm keeping for my collection out of this one. As you can see, they're priced because we already actually got these in the system and put out, and then I remembered that I had not filmed them, and so I had to pull them back off the shelf and film it right now. So we got Parasite Eve 2, and this has gone way up in price recently. Uh, the last one we had, we sold for 30 so... Price charts has it at 40 and some change, which is kind of crazy, but got that one. We also got a Final Fantasy Anthology. This one, when it came in, it did not have the Final Fantasy VI disc. It just had the soundtrack and the Final Fantasy V. So I was able to go onto our little spindles that we have back here with all these disc-only games, and we were able to actually find the Final Fantasy VI disc to complete it. So that's awesome. We also got a long box copy of Wipeout. I already have this one for myself, so that one's for the store, of course. And then we got Tetris Plus and BioFreaks. And then the three that came in with those that I'm keeping for the collection are Tempest X3, Galaga Destination Earth, and a long box copy of Busta Move 2 Arcade Edition. I believe now with this one, I have all of the Busta Move games on the PS1. This makes the third one that I have. I don't think that there's any more, but I could be wrong. But I, I love Bust a Move, so that's super cool. And these none of these games are relatively, ex you know, none of them are necessarily, not relatively, none of these three are necessarily expensive, but they're just kind of like uncommon titles, and I just wanted to hold on to them. So cool stuff there. And then the other trade that came in is this little stack here, not these. Uh, so we got X-Men 2 for the Genesis, Turtles 2 for the NES, and then we got a bunch of disc-only games here. And normally we don't take disc-only games unless it's something good, because you just saw the spindles, that's where they go. We do not even attempt to try and sell these. Unless somebody asks for a game that I know we have, I'll be like, well, we have a disc-only copy. But most of the time, they just go on the spindles, and then we 
you know, we try to complete them with these cases here. This entire wall is empty cases. So none of these are going to be able to be completed, though. Um, so we have King of Fighters Dream Match 1999 for Dreamcast. We have Crazy Taxi 2 for Dreamcast. We have Project Justice for Dreamcast. This is probably the best one in the lot. Capcom vs. SNK for Dreamcast. Street Fighter Alpha 3 for Dreamcast. Evolution for Dreamcast. Sonic Adventure 2 for Dreamcast. And then uh, Psychic Force 2012 for Dreamcast. Then we have Mega Man X4 for PS1. Ridge Racer 5 for PS2. Pocket Fighter for PS1. Then for Xbox, we have Metal Slug 3. Metal Slug 4 and Metal Slug 5. 4 and 5 originally come together, um, like two games in one kind of deal. Uh, but yeah, this is all pretty good stuff. Um, these games do have a decent amount of value, even disc only. Um, so I, you know, I did have to pay up for them, but luckily the guy took store credit and he ended up picking up Mega Man 1 and 5 for NES that we had in here. So... He actually ended up spending a little bit of cash on top of his trade credit. So pretty awesome stuff today. Also with the sale that we're doing on VHS and cassette tapes, we've actually sold quite a few. Uh, I brought in a box this morning of more anime tapes. I grabbed them last night, which if you guys saw yesterday's vlog, I talked about that. Um, so th this morning, basically the entire VHS shelf was completely full. And as you can see now, <laughs> there are some pretty significant gaps. So we've sold quite a few. Um, the sale has brought people in, uh, both today and yesterday. People came in specifically looking for VHS, which is cool. I think um, quite a few people that have never even been here before because my buddy uh, Luke, I've talked about him before, he's always bringing me stuff from the outlets that he finds. Um, he has an Instagram account that's literally called VHS account, and he's got a ton of followers on there, and he's local, of course, and so... Uh, when I posted that we were having that sale, uh, he asked me for some pictures of the tapes, and I sent him some, and he actually posted it on his Instagram and said, like, hey, you know, my buddy's having a sale at his store. Tapes are buy two, get one free. Go check it out. And we had a lot of people come in just from that, which is super cool. So the sale is working. I think it's really cool. It's fun to do this. It's the first, like, actual sale we've ever had on anything. Um, I was planning on doing a sale right after the hol right after New Year's. Uh, we just never did it for whatever reason. Just kind of forgot about it, I guess. But um, I would like to do more stuff like this. I started it with the VHS specifically because I wanted to try and thin it down a little bit, which is happening, which is really good. We just had so much, and I still have so so many more anime ones in my garage that I cannot fit them all on these two shelves. Uh, the cassette tapes, too, they don't really sell that much, and I'm I'm honestly thinking about phasing those out. Uh, the VHS we do sell regularly, but the cassette tapes, not so much. So I may either lower the price on the cassette tapes, um, I may just continue to do a sale on them, or I may actually just throw them all up on eBay in one big lot. They're all fairly similar genres. It's all mostly classic rock and stuff like that, so... I think putting them in one bundle might work out. There's a few like hip hop ones I'd have to take out, but um, I'm trying to figure out something because I don't think I want to carry the cassette tapes for very much longer. They just, they're cool and I enjoy having them here and some people do enjoy buying them here, but we just, we, we never sell them. So they're kind of just taking up space and that's more space that could be used for more VHS. So that's it. Um, I'm going to be heading home now, bring Abby her cup noodles and go home and get some rest. So, um, Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I might be a little bit short. I'm not sure. Haven't edited yet, of course. But I wanted to thank you guys anyway for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. If you missed uh, the room tour, that went up yesterday. Today for me, but yesterday for you guys if you're watching this right now. So uh, go check that out. A um, lot of fun to do those kind of videos. People always want to see them. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy. It's over an hour long, so grab a snack. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Do not forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.